Mo. So Nor, 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 is it, Mo. Nor, hold Mo. on a second. One you, at a time. You, please you, talk one at a time or yeah. I'm yeah. Get in trouble, okay, guys? No, okay, Seriously. Yeah, but, but, Brian, but, but, Brian. My hands are yeah. up, bro. Mo, Mo is it possible that this officer had his safety engaged on the rifle? Uh, if, it, if so, it, then I don't, I don't have a problem with that then because it's a deterrent. You. This yeah, has been I know days I know, of rioting I know you street. don't, and a bunch of other officers don't either. And that's the very problem we have in America, well, that no. you and you no, and you No, the problem is rioting and looting. Problem. The problem is rioting no, and looting. No, that's the problem. Battle. No, it is not. Hold that's on, a guys. I, I got to get something else in here. Because some people have have accused the protesters of goading police. Now, cops say demonstrators hurled water bottles filled with urine at authorities last night. Uh, at least 47 people were arrested. We're talking about a very small group of people. But do we have to take that into account? Because honestly, if somebody threw a water bottle filled with urine at me, I'd be pretty bleeped off. I don't know. I wasn't there. But let's debate it, starting with Brian Claypool, criminal defense attorney. Well, Jane, I, 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 you know, I think the, 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 the entry wounds here actually support the proposition that Mike Brown was either falling forward or he was falling or falling to the ground or, like you said, his head was charging down. But here's an important fact we don't have. We don't have the topography of where the shooting took place. In other words, where, maybe Dr. Parcells can help us. Is there is there any any downward? Uh, no, you were uh, looking the at this. Look, you're looking at the street. We saw the street a second ago. It's a flat street. It's a street like if any other if, street. Proceed. Right. If okay, if it's flat, then Jane, then he. Ha I, I've reenacted several shootings. Then then the, and the downward trajectory above the right eye clearly supports the proposition that he is like he's he's in a he's going like this. He's falling right. forward in order to get that downward trajectory. So it then becomes a factual issue. Has he been hit before that with a bullet and he's falling forward or is he actually charging toward the officer? And we don't know that yet. Six panelists, you just spoke for a good well, period of time. Now I want to well, give somebody yeah, else. We should have like cameras. Ryan well, you always, you're, you're cutting me off when I'm making I'm not, a point. I'm not. There's six people. You, you made a point, And now we're going to go to Brian Claypool who wants to make his Jane. point. Go ahead, quickly. Jane, thank Thank you. I want to get back to police brutality cases. I'm a civil rights lawyer. I've had at least a dozen shooting death cases. They run the gamut, white people, Hispanic people, and black people. I really respectfully disagree with Mo that within the context of excessive force by police officers, it's not a racial issue. It is an epidemic, and it, and it, and it covers all races. But I think the, 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 the dash cams would help. I've had many cases where if we have those, we could really know the truth. And I will leave you with this. Anytime there's a police shooting case, the deck of cards is stacked against the victim and their family because the police control the if investigation you and they agree. control the